What's going on guys, it's you here bringing you another review slash reaction on a Dragon Ball Super. And this chapter, I gotta say, was honestly phenomenal. I was not expecting this, and now I have a whole heaping new thoughts of what could be coming for this new chapter, or I guess where the direction of the series is going, because honestly, I am very intrigued. But before we continue guys, please make sure to subscribe, like the video, comment, all that good jazz if you haven't done it before and you are new, as I would appreciate if you guys would be part of this family and joining us, and by doing all that, it would make me feel great. So, if you would do that, I would appreciate it. But let's get into it. So, we see how, I guess you could say, freaking revelations were being made and now our boy is just confused as to like what in the world you know having to hear the truth from monaito and then having to you know see that in reality goku and vegeta weren't your enemies and in fact goku's father bardock saved you and your mother at the time and you caused your mother's death so yeah i mean it's kind of a hard thing to wrap your head around but we don't see you know that being very long because we actually see the heaters using the dragon balls and they make their wish we see that that wish uh was something quite interesting because we see that they use the wish to make gas taller yes that's right make taller the boy wanted to be tall and therefore he is but not just that I guess being stronger also makes you taller. I mean, that, that that that's something new to me. Unless that's an ability that he had that we didn't know about. But Gas is now uh, fully a man. And he has fully been granted this wish. And now he is now the strongest in the universe. He takes down freaking Granola like nothing. Like, it was just kind of crazy how he uses, like, this trident kind of looking thing. And just take him down. And, of course, you know... He's not going to go down without a fight. You know, we see Granola get back up, start trying to fight him. But basically, based on the, I guess you could say, the timing of the wish, we see that because of him making the wish more recently, that this makes him even stronger. Because if you make the wish right after his, and you can say, I want to be the strongest, well, you've got to take it to a comparison to somebody else. And therefore, Granola was the next comparison. So now he's stronger than him, which I guess is, shouldn't be a surprise. And he mops the floor with Granola. He just takes him down. Now, unfortunately, you know, Goku and Vegeta aren't exactly at 100% either. But uh, we see how Goku's like, look, give him the... And I love how Goku's like, give him the you know, sensu bean and have him take it. Uh, and Vegeta's like, I threw my armor out. You know, like, I gotta go find it and give it to him. So, we see how Goku's like, I'll take him, I'll distract him, and I'll fight Gas while you do that. And I love, because, to me, this is going in a direction where neither Goku nor Vegeta are going to be the ones to deal with this trouble. I think that in the end, the, he the hero is going to end up being Granola. And I feel like he will die along with the Eaters. I think he's going to kill them. I think it's going to come down to that. I don't even think he's going to be able to see Frieza. That is just my thoughts here. But, um, and I'm probably jumping the gun here with where I'm going with all this or the direction of where the chapter is right now. But it's just my thought. But I think that we're going to be seeing, you know, Granola coming back in, you know, and hopefully, you know, in a better way. But uh, I love the fight between Goku and Gas. Obviously, you know, we had, he had to go into, uh, I think, Blue. I wasn't sure if he went Ultra Instinct. I think he went to Blue. And he's holding his own. I think he's holding his own against Gas. Granola... It, he has all the strength but he's not the best fighter but he is learning so i think that in the end like i said it's gonna end up being granola being the one to be able to defeat him uh, as far as you know where the rest of the heaters are gonna be going i think that they're gonna wait it out and see if they can destroy uh these three and then try to take on frieza which would be bananas uh but we also get to see a little more of the past being re revealed with granola uh, where we see that Monaito basically had to cover up a lot of the stuff in order to keep Granola alive. And how Granola actually became, you know, basically a famous bounty hunter. He, he was on Django Fett level, you know. So interesting how they 
decided to go in this direction and use granola and became an asset but now he's nothing but trouble so you gotta exterminate him so crazy stuff and i love how in the end vegeta is actually being the one to motivate granola you know it's like you have to be the one to do this and so i think we're gonna be seeing our boy granola turning it around and fighting gas and i cannot wait but guys that is it for me stay safe take care of yourselves and others and i'll catch you later